Hi friends, uh, in this small video we are going to be showing you how to dismantle the HP DV6. So as you can see this uh, DV6 uh, that we have here has got real bad broken hinges as you can see. The entire base basically has to be changed. In the process we will show you how to change the keyboard and uh, upgrade the hard drive RAM of uh, this DV6 uh, series of HP notebooks. So let's just start by removing the battery by flipping the laptop and removing the battery this is the first thing that we do here so we just need to press it on the left side and battery comes out keep the battery on one side then as you can see there are these screws that uh, are holding onto the keyboard here this is one screw this is another one this is the third one so let's start removing these screws here Remember that this uh, small screw that you are seeing is on the leftmost side. Out of the lot, this is one screw that is different. I mean, all the screws are of the same size. Now we need to remove this entire panel here, as you can see. This panel houses the hard drive, RAM, and the Wi-Fi chip, and also uh, the keys that are uh, screws that are holding onto the keyboard. So we'll start removing it. Totally four screws holding this panel here. Okay, so as you can see the panel is out. So this is the place where the RAM is housed and as you can see it has got a DDR3 sodium. So you can just uh, buy a DDR3 sodium memory and uh, upgrade your memory. Next up is the hard drive. Uh, the hard drive is very much here. It is held by a small connector uh, which you just need to remove. A small connector is connected to the thing, so basically, it's got a normal SAT hard drive, laptop SATA hard drive to be very precise, and you can upgrade your laptop to around 500 to 1 terabyte hard drive. This particular model uh, supports up to 1 terabyte, so let's just fit it back later. So, coming back to the keyboard, uh, there are these two screws uh, which we need to remove. There's this one screw here. Need to remove that. There's another screw here. Which we need to remove too. Keep it on the one side. Now, because the entire uh, panel, the back panel, has to be changed here, so we'll start removing all the screws that are there. This is nothing to do with the keyboard. So, guys who are looking at the keyboard can forward uh, this video. But we need to remove all the screws for changing the hinges in the panel. As you can see, all these screws that you can see are visible have to be removed. Keep it on the one side so that uh, you get an idea as to where which screws have to be fitted back. The bigger screws as you can see are of the outer part uh, and a little smaller screws are the ones which are there on the inside of the panel that we've opened. So let's keep those screws on one side so that there is no confusion.
So as you can see all the screws that are visibly seen on the outer have been removed. Now we need to remove this thing. Uh, this particular screw here is holding onto the DVD drive. So guys who want to change the DVD drive they can just remove this particular screw that we have removed and they can just flip the LCD, uh, the DVD drive. So the DVD drive just comes out. Alright. Okay. So you can change the DVD drive now and let's see if we can now change the keyboard. As you can see the entire panel will start to come out once you've removed all the screws. So Just need to create a division between the two panels that are there existing so that you can entirely remove this. Meanwhile, you can remove the keyboard. I think that would be a better thing to do. You can just put a screw in the keyhole which connects to the keyboard and you can just remove the keyboard. So, let's just remove the keyboard here and this is the connecting cable and if anybody wants to change the keyboard, this is the way it is. Now, there will be some screws possibly which will be holding on to the hinges here. So, let's first remove all the pass strip and be very sure that there is absolutely nothing holding on to the top panel. So, as you can see, there is another wire strip which is connecting so we will remove even that something seems to be holding on let's just have a quick look if something which we need to know nothing actually uh, it's a stickering that uh, is basically holding on to this thing so nothing to worry about you just need to Okay, so basically uh, the stickering that is there inside the battery panel is what was holding on to the inside. So here we have the top panel on the one side, so we remove and keep it on one side. Now coming back to the place where the hinges have been damaged, we need to remove the screws which are holding on to the hinges of the base, so it does not get damaged further. I keep these screws on the one side so you can mark them as screws of the hinges which are holding on. In any case, if there is any confusion whatsoever, you can always refer to our video and uh, you can rewind and have a look at it so it should not be a difficulty. And this is the part which is really damaged and needs attention. So as you can see the top panel is now out and relieved but before that we need to remove the VGA cable and this part is the Wi-Fi cable so we just go behind and remove the cables connecting to the Wi-Fi port and quickly remove them so that the entire LCD hinge can be separated. So here is it my friends. Uh, we have now basically so as you can see uh, the hinges have uh, badly damaged uh, the base of the 
DV6 laptop so probably we have to change the base or still better if we could uh, put something here so that the screw holding it which went bad as well as here would hold the thing better okay so as you can see this particular part is actually uh, to be put here so we need to relieve the LCD VGA cable so that we can just remove this VGA cable and very slowly this thing will come out this thing sits back over here so now your LCD is uh, independent of the base unit so so finally we have to change the base uh, there's no other way out here because this part is very badly damaged so let's start changing the base of this thing <laughs> 